everybody. My name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. And today we're talking about my favorite subject and maybe your favorite subject. We're talking about food. We're talking about the best restaurants located right in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you could like, the, like this video and also subscribe, that would make the world a difference. I try to produce as much content as humanly possible about Northwest Arkansas, obviously. Also, maybe you haven't come down to check out Northwest Arkansas just yet. Maybe you're kind of watching some videos, kind of checking out the whole area. Like, what is this all, What is this place about? Why are so many people moving here? What is all the hubbub? What's all the excitement? I made something called the NWA Starter Pack, and it sounds exactly what it is. It's a starter pack for Northwest Arkansas. It has all the information about all the hospitals, schools, all the cool events happening here. It comes with all detailed information about Northwest Arkansas. And cool thing is, is that actually it includes your first mountain bike. So kind of a little fun little thing there. So if you're entering your information below, I'll make sure to ship that to you right away. But the really cool thing about this whole NWA starter pack is the fact that it's my favorite four letter F word, free. So enter your information below and I'll make sure to get that shipped to your house right away. All right, and the first one we need to talk about is Tula. Now Tula is a very special place in my heart because it makes some of the best tacos that I have known since being down here. So good. Um, so Tula is located right on the downtown section of Fayetteville. So you're not gonna, you're, you're hard to miss because of the fact that it's on the downtown square and like you're gonna walk past it and there's like a glass of like beverages to say the least, like all the alcoholic beverages you could imagine. Just like, a glass right there. And so it just draws you and you're like, Ooh. so when you're walking downtown section of Fayetteville, you'll see this like almost very exquisite like restaurant inside of another like building. That is Tula. Tula is fantastic because it has a great indoor section, has a great bar, but most of it is known for being the outdoor section as well. They have obviously a lot of outdoor seating, but it's great for that kind of spring, summer, fall event, you know, kind of seating out there. Good for the winter because they also have those heated areas. So if you want to sit outside kind of in between kind of like middle temperatures, great for that. But let's go back to the food, the important thing. Food is incredible. I oh, love the food. Uh, some of my clients that have also moved from Chicago and other places that are uh, experienced in, uh, the, let's say, the Mexican uh, cuisine, they have said that Tula is by far one of the best restaurants when it comes to Mexican food they've had. And I tend to agree with them. They are, it's a fantastic restaurant. You definitely need to check out Tula when you are in downtown Fayetteville. And number two on the list, and this is one of my personal favorites, is Hugo's. Hugo's was one of the first restaurants I experienced when I moved down to Northwest Arkansas. And the cool thing is, is that it's actually underneath, like it's, a, it's an underneath restaurant. And so I went there and I was meeting a friend there and they're like, go down the stairs. I'm like, like, okay. So I like went down the stairs and underneath everything, it's obviously a bar, it's a burger place, but it's most, it's most known for having fantastic burgers. And let me tell you something, their burgers are fantastic. Now I'm a little bit of a weirdo. And so I got something called, I think it was like a, I don't know what it's called, a sweet, sweet something burger. But long story short, they, I, I love this kind of style of burger and it's called like, basically it's peanut butter and jelly and also uh, bacon all in a burger. So it's basically peanut butter, jelly burger and bacon. I mean, what sounds wrong with that? Nothing, obviously. But they have that on the menu. It was delicious. Um, they're also known for having great fries and just kind of that bar experience. Uh, it's really fun to go down there and experience that, obviously. The thing you need to know about Hugo's is that it it packs out quick. Just be aware that if you want it, you might have to you know, get used to staying outside for a little bit. They'll give you like obviously the buzzer thing. But the cool thing about Hugo's is that obviously the downtown section, there's a lot to do there. So you can kind of buzz around, uh, pun intended and I'll go around the downtown section, hang out there for a little while until the buzzer goes off and you're ready to enjoy Hugo's. And number three on the list is a very niche restaurant and it's called Ham and Trees and all they serve is grilled cheese. And it rhymes, so it must be awesome, obviously. So Ham and Trees only serves grilled cheese. And I just can't imagine just opening up a restaurant to say, you know, what, what are you gonna serve? Grilled cheese, what are you gonna do to it? Everything. It is your wildest grilled cheese dreams come true. There's a lot of E's and S's in here, but if you have grilled cheese dreams, you definitely need to check out Ham and Trees. Wow. So uh, obviously fantastic restaurant, been there a lot of times and I have exhausted the menu. Um, I think my favorite one is like the barbecue uh, pork one with grilled cheese. And it's anyways, there's a lot of good stuff there. So definitely check them out when you're down. It's kind of close to the downtown section near Dixon Street. So just know that if you are, it is one of the most best and funnest as a new word, funnest places to visit when you're in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Whoa, whoa, before we jump on to the next point, I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're looking at homes or rentals around the area and you're using things like realtor.com or zillow.com, way too slow, the notifications, way too slow, you're missing things left and right. So I made something called Instant Home Updates and it sounds exactly what it does. It's Instant Home Updates. Wild, I know. So if you're looking to move down here, trying to check out the area, 
Enter your information below, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, all the things you're looking for, and I'll make sure you don't miss a single listing or rental when it comes to Northwest Arkansas. Also, if you want to keep up with all things Northwest Arkansas, like what comedians are coming through here, musicians, all new businesses, all the cool things that are happening in every single city, definitely enter your email your email below. I send an email out every single Friday, just kind of keeping you up to date with what's going on in Northwest Arkansas. So if whether you're here or if you're thinking about coming here, it's it's just good to know what's happening here before it actually before you actually get here. Little side note, you might get a little fear of missing out, just heads up there, but I will make sure that you're the most informed person eventually when you make your way down to Northwest Arkansas. And number four on the list is Bordinos. Now, Tula and Bordinos kind of rival each other to some extent. Let me tell you why. So Tula is more of an ex kind of exclusive higher end restaurant, great food, uh, great Mexican food. Bordinos is more of a sit down, low lighting, expect a variety of very particular uh, menu items that are going to be obviously highly curated for their menu for that night or maybe over a course of like a couple months. So just know that Bordinos is that place you're going to sit down and have a great menu. You know, these are the places we're going to hire some higher end wine, definitely some cheese, some meats come to the table, and it's just going to be a higher end overall experience. It's located on Dixon Street. Uh, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a mixed blend. And it's one of the fun things about Fayetteville is you get this interesting mixture of like people that have lived there a long time that are in their maybe in their like their 40s or 50s or 60s. And then you get a blend of actual like, obviously college students. And that kind of all happens on Dixon Street and Bordinos is located right on there. So it's really cool to have that experience going down to Dixon Street uh, across from the Walton Art Center and going to Bordinos and just having uh, a great, we'll say higher class sit down restaurant, low lighting, and you're just gonna have a great time if you want that kind of experience. And number five on the list is Doe's Eat Place. Now we do have a bonus round coming up here, so just wait for that. So Doe's Eat Place is known for serving this one item that everyone goes there for to, you have to go to Doe's for one item, and that item is steak. It, anyone you talk around Northwest Arkansas, and they're saying like, where can I get a good steak? Everyone says you need to go to Doe's, go to Doe's, go to Doe's, go to Doe's. Doe's is located on Dixon Street in Fayetteville. It packs out quick. It's known for some of the best steaks you can have in the area. Everyone knows you go to Doe's for good steak. So if that is your thing, you want a great steak, you definitely need to check out Doe's. It will not disappoint you in any shape or form. Again, just like Bordino's, it's going to have that kind of college flair, so to speak, on Dixon Street. And you're also going to have like people that are in, the, you know, that want to have a good steak. And so you'll see that blend happening right there in, in, in Doe's itself. But just know Doe's fills up fast. Definitely, definitely make sure you get there at a good time to make sure you get a seat and experience Doe's steaks. The video's not done there today. We're doing something a little different. We're doing bonus round. Woo! All right, so bonus round. So we're gonna talk a little bit about Johnson. So Johnson doesn't get a lot of flair on the channel because it's a pretty small town wedge between Springdale and Fayetteville, closer to Fayetteville, a little farther away from, Spring, from Springdale. But we need to talk about three very important restaurants in Johnson, and they are well known in the NWA community. The first one we need to talk about is Hail Fellow Well Met. Hail Fellow is a brainchild of Onyx Coffee. If you don't know what Onyx Coffee is, where have you been, first off? Secondly, Onyx Coffee is a world-renowned coffee, uh, specialty coffee maker in Northwest Arkansas, won a lot of competitions, well-known in the area, um, but they have, a, they have a drink on the actual menu of Onyx called Hail Fellow Well Met, and they actually made a restaurant called Hail Fellow Well Met in Johnson. It is obviously serves Onyx Coffee, but they serve some of the most delicious menu items that you can like kind of, I would say lunch items versus dinner, so it's better place for lunch, obviously. So if you want some unique, healthy lunch items that you probably won't going to find in many other places in Northwest Arkansas, definitely check out Hail Fellow. Uh, the interesting thing that makes Hail Fellow as fascinating is the fact it goes back to Onyx's origin, whereas their branding has always been uh, never settle for good enough. And so that uh, that culture bleeds into Hail Fellow, obviously, because the owners own Onyx and also Hail Fellow. So just know that when you go to Hail Fellow, they are a brand that strives for, I would say perfection, but very, very, very good quality. So just know that when you're walking into Hail Fellow. And continuing on with our bonus round, uh, we're talking about Pizza Ruby. Now, when I first moved to Northwest Arkansas, I had a friend take me to a pizza restaurant and they said, hey, let's go get Chicago style pizza. I'm like, really? Really, do we need to do this now? Um, just to say the fact it was subpar, I was not expecting a lot and it was not, it was not good. That is not to say about Pizza Ruby. Pizza Ruby is probably the closest experience to either New York style or Chicago style pizza that I've had down here. It is fantastic. Thin crust pizza, that's my favorite. I do enjoy the deep dish, but at some point, deep dish becomes more of a pie than necessarily a pizza. That's debatable. It's like, is a hot dog a sandwich? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But Pizza Ruby definitely specializes in the thin crust pizza. It is absolutely delicious. High quality items, high quality everything there. Uh, they know how to do pizza. And so if you are looking for that kind of authentic Chicago, New York style pizza, uh, thin crust, 
definitely check out Pizza Ruby. But again, you've seen a trend here. The wait times can be a little, a little high. So just make sure you get your order in and have a good window before you're uh, famished to starving. That is the window and make sure you have enough time there so you don't uh, die on the way to pick it up. And last of the bonus round is probably one of the most known restaurants in the area, and that is Wright's Barbecue. Wright's Barbecue is well known for ma making amazing barbecue in, I would say, a good portion of the South and the Midwest. Um, so it's very, I would consider more similar to Kansas barbecue than Texas barbecue, but just kind of keep that in mind if you are a barbecue connoisseur. Um, when, so if you are coming down to Northwest Arkansas and you do live down here, you need to check out Wright's Barbecue. Fantastic, fantastic barbecue. Uh, they have obviously assortments of everything you'd be looking for from burnt ends to sausage to all the things when it comes to all things pork, obviously. Uh, obviously they cook everything that morning or that day before. So just know if you're looking for amazing barbecue in Northwest Arkansas, there are very good places as well, but Wright's definitely holds the crown when it comes to best barbecue in Northwest Arkansas. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching the bonus round. That was a ton of fun. But if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, download my three-day itinerary link below. Maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, I don't know. But there's a three-day itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it when you get down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area, Bentonville, Rogers, Fayetteville. We definitely need to check out some of the restaurants in Fayetteville. But when you're down here getting the tour, I can also show you some homes for sale or for rent, and we can see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.